What is up, everybody? This is Argon Matrix here with take three of this stupid recording session of Majora's Mask, episode six, by the way. And yep, I am finally back now. It feels so weird saying that since I've already said that like twice before. But yeah. Anyways, um, so I'm feeling a lot better than I was before when I was sick. I think I still am partially sick. I'm not sure. But I am definitely more than well enough to make this video. Alright, um, so without further ado, let's start playing the game again. Alright, first thing I want to show off here, um, well, last, first, last time we went back in time three days, which is awesome, because that's just cool that you can do that at any point, ever. But, um... Yeah, so, what you want to do every time you go back in time to the dawn of the first day, which is every time you play the song of time, by the way, you want to play this song. It's basically the song of time backwards, which is called the inverted song of time. Isn't that a clever name? And it slows the, clur the clearant flow of time. Yes. And, yeah, basically makes it a third of what it was. Like the, see, see how much slower that clock's going down there now? How much slower the sun is circling the diamond? That's a phrase I thought I would never say. Whatever. And, uh, yeah. So, now that we got our instrument back, we can also go and talk to the mask guy and see if he can change his back now. Let's see. Look, he's still really happy. Oh, my God. Were you able to recover your precious item from that imp? Oh my god, shaking! No, no, what are you shaking me for? Oh my god. Oh my, oh, 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 you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it! What the f- What the fuck? No. Where'd the organ come from? Is that always there? If it is, I really never noticed that. Then listen to me. Please play the song that I'm about to perform, and remember it well. Ah, uh, this is the easiest song ever, pretty much. That you ever learn on the ocarina. Kind of reminds me of Hot Cross Buns, actually. You know. It's like, it goes like, wait, wait, I need to play it. Here we go. Hot Cross Buns, Hot Cross Buns, Hot Cross Buns. Okay, that's enough of that. Whatever. So, we learned a new song. The song of healing. And, oh my god. Headache. Oh my god, it's so scary. It's like the first time I got transformed into a Deku. Oh my god, what? No way. I'm gonna... He di he actually did turn me back. Oh my god, that's awesome. And I'm saying, oh my god, a lot. Oh my god. My face falls off. Get your face out of my place. You stupid Deku scrub. This is a melody that heals evil magic and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. I am sure it will be of assistance to you in the future. Well, I certainly hope that it will. Otherwise... That would be the most pointless song ever. Ah, yes, I gave you this mask in commemoration of this day. Yes, I really want to remember this day, because this is the best day of my life. Fear not, for the magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will transform into the shape you just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. And we get the first mask of Majora's Mask. Of the first of many to come. Yes, we have the Deku Mask. Press start and set it to now button and wear the masks to turn back into the form we just were if we ever want to why would we i don't know but then we of course we can take it off to come back to normal now i have fulfilled my promise to you so please give me that which you promised me well there's a small problem with that but you kind of didn't get the mask don't tell me my mask you did get it back, didn't you? Oh my god, that's scary. What? Dude, no, that's not that's not funny. Shaken baby syndrome is a serious issue. But even not saying that Link's a baby or anything. What have you done to me? If you leave that mask out there, something terrible will happen. This guy's going insane, man. What's wrong with him? The mask that was stolen from me. It's called Majora's Mask. Well, go figure. It's an accursed item from legend that is said to have been used in ancient tribe by Texan rituals. 
I think it I think I screwed up my words there a little bit, but oh well. It is said that an evil and wicked power bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's mask were so great. Ooh, that doesn't look very nice. The ancient ones, fearing such a catastrophe, shields sealed the magic shaft, sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. But now that tribe from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. Except for you. But I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask. When I finally had it, I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now that imp has it, that fucking imp. I am begging you, you must get that mask back quickly or something horrible will happen. Is it horrible or terrible? Make up your mind, buddy. <laughs> I always love this face that he made right there. That's just hilarious. I don't know why it is. It just is. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. You must do it. And then all of a sudden, he's so happy. Really? You'll do it for me? No, I'll do it for the good of all humanity. Except for you. It was. I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine. Surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths. Believe. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Link doesn't need to believe in his strengths because they're already awesome. Alright. Oh, yes. This brings up the issue of the fairy voice. Um, that fairy voice that I used in the first five episodes, it caused. That was the, probably the main cause of what made me lose my voice a long time ago, a while back. So I'm going to change the voice a little bit here. Alright. That mask! The skull kid loses the power of that mask to do, to do those terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we gotta do something about it. The swamp, mountains, ocean, and canyon that Taylor was trying to tell us about. I bet he was referring to the four areas just outside of town, that's one in each compass direction. But what do you suppose he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips the important stuff. I guess we should just go find out. If we go through the gate straight ahead, we'll be heading in the direction of the swamp. Alright, so that's pretty much the same voice, except deeper. Much deeper. Alright, um... So, yeah. For the next few episodes, actually, we are not going to be going to the swamp or any of the other areas, actually. We're just going to be staying right here in the familiar land of Clocktown to do some stuff. There's a lot of stuff to do here. Oh, uh, yeah. We'll be here for at least the first two days of this cycle. And I don't know how many videos that's going to take, but let's get started. First, I'm going to make this guy come. And that sounded very wrong. But, yeah. I'm just doing this for something later. Don't worry about it for now. Yes, blah, blah, blah. It's your private property. Oh, my God. Trespassers. Oh, by the way, um, here's the mask. And this is what happens when you put on the mask. Oh, my God. Headache. <laughs> And it looks like really scary and stuff. So yeah, I, you can skip that cutscene by the way, but just by pressing any button, pretty much. Uh, I'm gonna kind of stay as a Deku form for now, since you can do this, this spinny thing, which makes you go a lot faster. So yeah, if I need to be human like to do something, then I, I'll change back, obviously. But yeah, no, dude, don't miss it. I need this stray fairy again, man. Because if you remember correctly, if you have a very good memory from whenever from that video when we went to see the great fairy which is forever ago for you guys um that she said that if we return to her once we've returned to our normal form to our human form then uh she would then she would uh grant us something awesome and trust me it is awesome by the way this thing here's ye who hold the sacred sword the leaf proof of our encounter well sure i don't know if my sword is sacred or not but Oh, I guess it is. Wow. That's pretty cool. What is this sword anyway? Is this the, is this the Kokiri sword? I'm inclined to believe it is, but yeah. Oh my god. Just a second. I need to take a drink. Mm. Yummy apple juice. Yeah, so by the way, this is a save point. And um, they'll actually serve another purpose later in the game. And that's not, not actually too much later either. So yeah, I'll go over the saving procedure 
at the end of this recording session, so in a few videos. Because it is a, it's a really weird type of saving. So, um, yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and go to the Great Fairies Fountain. Yay! Except not yay, because I don't like the Great Fairies. They're really scary. They scare the living pants off of me. Except my pants aren't alive. I'm not making any sense. Wow. Mm. Ah. Sorry if I'm kind of out of it. Um, it's actually pretty early in the morning. I kind of just woke up a, an hour or so ago. Oh, Tattle, and you, kind young one. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. Isn't broken and shattered a little bit redundant? Wouldn't you just say? I am the great fairy of magic. For now, this is all I can offer you. Allow me to ease your weariness as a token of my gratitude. Please don't give me a massage. That would be horrible. No. What are you doing? Oh, oh, okay. You're just going to pull me up in the tractor beam. That's fine. And then put me down. Whatever, lady. Oh, kind young one. Scattered throughout the four temples of this land are broken stray fairies like me. Please find a way to save them and return them to their fountains. Surely they will add to your strength. Allow me to grant you something good so that the stray fairies will not fear you. She gives us a great fairy's face. Oh my god. she's She completely destroyed one of the fairies in Ocarina of Time. That's scary. You got the great fairy mask. Wear it with C. Pray, stray fairies will fly to you when you wear it. You'll know you're close to a fairy who's lost in the temple that makes if when the mask's hair begins to shimmer. Come see me when your quest has made you weary. Yeah, sure, lady, whatever. But uh yeah. We'll go over the details of stray fairies once we actually get to the first temple. Cause for now it's not really important to us. Alright. Oh, what are we at? Twelve minutes? Cool. Uh so what next? Oh yes. There's you may have noticed as we were when we were a Deku scrub that there is actually a heart piece up in this tree. And no matter how hard you try, if as a Deku scrub, you cannot get that heart piece because the Deku scrub just simply cannot jump far enough to get onto these platforms and everything, and jump to the tree and everything. So, so you have to be, you have to wait until you're human link again to come and get this. And this will complete another heart container, actually. Yay, we have four hearts before even leaving the first town. That's pretty incredible. All right, what next? Um, oh yes, I know something. Actually, I know quite a few things. I should know. I've already played through the second of the game two times before now. Or, like, we tried to record the session two times before now. Alright, first things first, you want to head over here. And there will be a little bit of a secret thing over here. If you just jump across these. I know it seems like I'm kind of glitching out the game or something. And trying to get to an area that I'm not supposed to be able to get to. But you are supposed to be able to get to this area. Otherwise, they would not put a chest here. And what does the chest contain? Dungeon map? No, silver rupee. I wanted a dungeon map. Meh. What kind of... I already do have a dungeon map. So yeah. What are these guys doing? They look, they're just having a ball. Haha. -ha. My, my. Funny things are happening in town, aren't they? Funny, funny. You're telling me. Like the rumors about the swamp to the south? Did you hear about the kidnapping? What? Oh my god, that's scary. Oh my, the kidnapping? Yep. But then the kid woke up. Get it? Kid napping? Whew, I got a million of them. Oh, wow. Terrible pun is terrible. Alright. Um, so yeah. We're gonna... Well, next thing is next. Instead of first things first, it's... Yeah. Um, we are going to go to the bomber's hideout. And thankfully, we don't have to play their stupid hide-and-seek games again. Because... The code never changes. No matter how many times you go back in time, it will never change. All you have to do is find it the first time, and you're set for life, buddy. Unless you forget it, of course. Alright, um... While we're here, actually... I'm gonna go ahead and go out to the telescope guy's place. Ha ha ha. The astronomers, yes. And pick up the moons tier again. Trust me, there is a good reason for me doing this. And, um... It's gonna have to. I'm gonna have to wait to explain to you in the next episode, or actually, I won't explain it because it'll it'll become evident later. Trust me. All right. So thank you everyone for watching my triumphant return to Majora's Masks. So this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.